Hello everyone. Um, I guess I wanted to come to the party early and stay late. So I decided I would just join the celebration again today since I didn't realize the 5th was on Saturday and not Friday. Um, I, don't, I don't even know why I put it down on my calendar wrong, but I did. So anyhow, I'm going to um, work with one of the arrows today that I told you about yesterday. I made these and I sell them in my um, Flare for Embellishment shop. And then I told you about Yes Please Paper Crafts Button Shop. She makes flare. And I also told you about MK. She does some assemblage required. I just love that name. And um, and then her link is link tr dot e e dash m k gun with two ends thirty one. And um, all that stuff will be listed down below. And people are doing their projects today because this is the day that we're supposed to have it. But I guess I'd just like to come early and stay late. So anyhow, I used the owls yesterday, two of the owls. Today I'm going to use one of the arrows because I had my the twins' birthday party to um, scrapbook. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do that now because their theme for their birthday was young, wild, and three. And they had like little teepees um, on their cake and um, Alex, this is, that's the girl and Aiden is a boy. I'm not going to have him in this picture just because I'm doing a separate layout for him. But when Alex, she was helping roll out the dough for her, for the, um, they made like cookies that were shaped like teepees. And, um, and she says, I'm making my birthday. <laughs> it was so cute. But anyhow, they had um, a petting, a traveling petting zoo come to their house. And I'm going to use this reminisce paper, but I'm going to use the other side where it just shows the barn. And, um, or the barn wood, I should say. And um, so I'm going to be using this. And it's by Reminisce. And it's called Barn Beauty Number 4. And... I just think it's fabulous paper. I had to buy two of them because I loved them so much. It's got the old truck on this side. But that, she would not like the old truck. <laughs> so, um, and this paper here, I'm going to use this plaid. And this I actually picked up at um, Tuesday morning. And it's called Farmer's Market by We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm using the plaid for the from this kit. It's a really cute kit. It actually has letters in it. It's probably quite old because I don't know if does we me we we are memory keepers <laughs> do they still do paper pads I don't know it's got a sticker sheet in here and everything it's really cute so um I'm using that paper and I'm gonna kind of center these pictures on here and how I don't like to put too much tape on it so I actually got <laughs> feel like I got carried away here okay and I'm gonna kind of leave three rows of white over there and just kind of come into this third row I think and if I do the same one here I think they'll be about right I couldn't believe, I kept thinking, oh, I want to watch those girls' videos. So I got home and I um, turned on the computer and it's like, where's their videos? And then I realized I was too early to the party. My husband would say that is really rare. <laughs> okay, push this down just a little bit more. It's a rare occasion when I'm early to the party. Well, maybe not. That's how it is at my family. 
because I have to travel <laughs> to get to their house. So um, I always end up there as the, the first one. Okay, so I'm going to put a doily on this one. And I thought this looked a little more country than my regular doilies that I use. So that's why I thought that would be a cute one. I just kind of hate to <laughs> tape the doilies because they just want to just want to tear it up. You know, I'm knocking things here. I just need a bigger table. It's a good thing we don't eat on this table. <laughs> okay, let's see. I kind of like to get into the scallops kind of the same. So that's what I kind of try to get it even. And I'm going to kind of get it, I think there is probably the right spot. And this is actually from a summer kit. I don't know what it was because, again, I took it off the, the sheet and um, store it in three ring binders. But it has like swimming things on it and stuff like that. But um, the whole kit was so cute. And it actually has... A little teepee that went with it so I thought that was so adorable and beautiful colors so I am going to run a little bit this they don't stick very well so I just need a little extra tape and I'm gonna put this right up to the top and over I was trying to work with this one paper and I just could not get inspired with, with it at all. So it's like, okay, I seen that little teepee and this and I thought, well first I seen this and I thought, oh, that'll be really cute for their birthday. Oh, this paper that I cut, it is actually eight and a eighth by five and three eighths. And so you still get to see a lot of the wood and I liked how it kind of looked farm-like. since they had the petting zoo there. And I was amazed when she told me how much it cost to have them there. It was when they lived in Washington. And um, and I'll tell you, their yard was not very big, but they brought, you know, it was just like this little traveling petting zoo. And I thought that was so adorable. Okay, I think that's about right. I'm just kind of guessing because I know I can kind of pull it over just because the doily makes it look, you know, closer over here. But I think that's pretty good there. And I love how this um, plaid looks kind of roughed up too. Okay. And I'm going to put this little teepee. And I will do their other page, their prepping where I'm going to show the cake in that picture because it's like there was no cake outside. So I figured I wasn't going to put the cake in this picture. I was just going to keep this an outside picture or an outside page, I should say. And then this little sticker too. Just kind of bring in the colors around in a triangle and then I have okay I lost my rabbit I have a rabbit because they had a rabbit at the petting zoo and I probably have it slid underneath something here well I've got the sheep and He's pretty cool because he actually looks like he's wool. <laughs> so I'm going to have to glue down his legs because when I pulled him off the wax paper, it left his little sticky part behind. Put a little bit more glue there. 
and I'm going to stick him right by the other sheep who's right here okay and where is my rabbit I totally lost my rabbit Okay, I found the rabbit, and I'm just going to put them back to back. But they were actually, the rabbit's right here, and the sheep is right here. But I thought they would look cute back to back like that. And then they are going to, I'm writing what was on their cake. Except for I used a three instead of the writing it out just because of that whole E ordeal <laughs> that I keep using up all the E's faster than anything else. Which it's a good thing I'm not writing the kids' names because there's so many A's in that. Because we have, we call her Alex, but she's Alexandria. How many A's are in that? Three. <laughs> and then Aiden. There's another A. And their whole family is A's. Angela and Adam. So they are like... They could... I have to buy an A factory just to keep up with them. Okay. So, and then I've just really got the arrow to put on after I put on the title. And then someday this week I will do the first page, which is the prepping, because that was just as cute as could be. And then, um, and then I will do Aiden's page too. And I will finally have this birthday done. I was just so uninspired. <laughs> I had such a hard time. I kept um, trying to use this other paper. I kept thinking, oh, this would be perfect. And then it just was not. And I just couldn't get into it. So I just had to try something else. Okay, and then for the arrow, this is made out of a toothpick. And I told you in my first video that I would show you how to do these one of these days. So I already had somebody say they would be happy to see that. And they're so adorable. And then I'll, I'll show you the whole trick about the um, finding the, the feathers because that is kind of the hardest part. Okay, so, oops, I actually was going to put the arrow this way, but it just blended in with the doily, and since she's facing this way, well actually she's kind of facing towards the center, um, I just thought it, I tried to put it out in another spot, but I love it in the middle, it just looks like, with the whole wood thing, it just looks like it'd be hanging on somebody's wall, and so... I will have um, journaling and I'll stick it down in here or maybe just below this and but I'll have to get with her mom so I get all the info and so that's it and I will have close-ups at the end thank you for joining me for the party one more time have a great day bye bye